Welcome back to another episode of WJAG TV. In this week's episode, we have a promo for the upcoming Dream Fest led by Elite, an update on a new climate change proposal, a look into the work done by students in the Jagway Cafe, and a tour of the C-SPAN bus that visited Cedar Shows during its tour. My name is Jocelyn Clark. And my name is Maya Jordan. And, and this is WJAG TV with your weekly school news. The Jagway Cafe is a program that Mr. Hibbs and his students work day to day here at Cedar. This is their very first school year working with the new program. The students sell many different beverages like coffee, tea, and even hot chocolate on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Alright teachers, get your nickels, pennies, and quarters and come on down to Jag Cafe and get a boost to your day. Oh, I got you. <laughs> coffee is an integral part of over 50% of adult Americans' daily lives. In the past, teachers were left to bring in their own coffee or trudge through the early hours of the morning uncaffeinated. That was until a few years ago when the Jagged Up Cafe, a cafe run by the students of Cedar Shoals, opened for business. This year, the program is back and better than ever under the new name of the Jagway Cafe. Students a part of the program ran us through the semi-weekly process of running the shop. It started like about like five minutes to get started. Mm. It depends. Like, for me, it's like 20 minutes. Well, we sit in there and wait till customers start coming in. And, well, sometimes we'll have a lot of customers coming in and buy on stuff, serve them. And uh, I stop, I help customers, I greet them. At 9.30, I go down there and clean up and count the money. It's a lot that we can offer to see them. Mr. Hibbs, teacher and program coordinator, told us more about the cafe as well as the benefits it brings students. Um, we started an internship class in our department last year, um, and we opened the coffee shop last year. Um, and so we reopened it this year with some upgrades. And uh, so it's an opportunity for the students to get some different job skills, and um, it's based on preparing for like a work setting after high school. Last year, like I was saying, we just mostly did Keurig cups, so now we actually are doing Thousand Faces coffee. I guess difficulties that I foresaw was students showing up on time or, um, yeah, basically having to trust everybody to get there on time. But they are uh, doing a really good job at that, so it's not that difficult. It's uh, been a really smooth process because everybody's taking uh, leadership roles and being really responsible. Our goal is by the end of the year um, is to break even so next year when we reopen we'll be able to just make strictly profits. Profits, yeah. Don't forget the Jackway Cafe will be selling spirit popcorn during all four lunches today and will deliver it on Friday March 29th during both 6 and 7 period. Cable Satellite Public Affairs Network known as C-SPAN is a nonprofit television network that televises federal government proceedings. Cable Satellite Public Affairs Network, known as C-SPAN, is a nonprofit television network that televises federal government proceedings. C-SPAN was created in 1979, so they just recently had their 40th anniversary. Cedar Shoals High School was one of many schools selected for them to visit as a celebration. They allowed the entire journalism crew to tour their mobile networking bus, which gave them a clearer outlook on what C-SPAN is and why they're important. Jocelyn Clark and Roro Jamul decided to do a little more digging. Let's check out their tour. The C-SPAN bus is a multimedia demonstration vehicle that has traveled through all 50 states explaining what C-SPAN is. C-SPAN uh, on the 19th of this month had its 40th anniversary and as part of that we did a whole brand refresh, meaning that we changed our logos on all of our networks, even our book TV and American History TV, kind of what C-SPAN looks like on air. And as part of that, the C-SPAN bus also got a rewrap, kind of a refreshed look. And so this is our second stop uh, on our tour throughout the country um, with this new look. We reach out to middle school, high schools, and colleges because 
you know, you're getting to the age where you're going to be able to vote someday or you're going to go to college soon. So we want you to make your own decisions rather than have somebody tell you what to think. How we try to be nonpartisan is just by getting out of the way. So we show the government, we show the House, the Senate, any time that they're in session without commercial, without interrupting, without telling anyone what to think about what's going on on the House or Senate floors. But we do that with all of our other programs as well, kind of doing that gavel to gavel coverage from the very beginning of something to the very end. No editing, no kind of uh, trying to do sound bites or anything like that. That's how we try to stay nonpartisan. C-SPAN offers 250,000 hours worth of free searchable content. Many teachers and students at Cedar have taken advantage of this. Your school actually has a lot of C-SPAN classroom members. And what that is is a free membership to access all of our coverage. So a lot of your teachers and students are actually incorporating C-SPAN in the classroom already. Well, before I hadn't really used it much. Uh, Ms. Jones used it somewhat, but that was more in her Saturday Academy. But uh, C-SPAN, it's, uh, it's a lot different than what I thought it originally was. In ninth grade, Ms. Jones helped us use um, C-SPAN with a review session. So on Saturday school, she would put up C-SPAN and she would help us um, kind of review material for the end of year exam. And they would have like four or pe uh, five people like sitting on a panel and they would get questions from people like around the um, country and they would ask them questions about like government and stuff and they would be able to like answer the questions and go over anything people were unclear about. With the help of Spectrum, they've been able to visit many schools across the country. It's important so you guys can make up your own mind about what you see instead of having somebody tell you what to think and how to make conclusions. One of the big benefits for high school and college students is that you can use our sources in your papers, in your presentations. One of the things is sometimes teachers require, most of the time teachers require you to use primary sources, right? And it could be hard to use primary sources. You can't just Google something in Wikipedia, right? So uh, C-SPAN serves for that reason as well. We're a small entity uh, just kind of doing our part to show students that there is a place out there where you can find out all of this information. So we think uh, our, our audience is everybody who's an American uh, that if whether it's in California or Mississippi or right here in Georgia, that we think it's really important for them to have access to their government, who in the end is spending all of their money. Yeah. You may have noticed the fluctuations in temperatures as well as the abnormal amount of rain Athens has been receiving in the past year. This is all a result of global warming. Since the Industrial Revolution, the climate has been changing as more and more greenhouse gases are being emitted into the atmosphere. Politicians and scientists alike are attempting to create interventions as they project that the Earth will become irreversibly damaged if current conditions continue. A new proposal that has been presented is called the Green New Deal. Keep watching for more information from Trent Dennison. Climate change is a major issue today that will affect the world for many generations to come. Research has shown that the planet has been affected by climate change in ways that are evident, caused by human interference. Temperatures have risen to over 1.62 degrees Fahrenheit on average, while carbon emissions are over 1.5 times higher than normal at the highest. While most people agree that we should do something to fix the environment, the argument stems from how. This is a quality of life issue. You want to tell people that their concern and their desire for clean air and clean water is elitist? Tell that to the kids in the South Bronx, which are suffering from the highest rates of childhood asthma in the country. Tell that to the families in Flint, whose kids, have their blood is ascending in, in lead levels. Their brains are damaged for the rest of their lives. Call them elitist. Tell, you're telling them that those kids are trying to get on a plane to Davos? People are dying. They are dying. And the response across the other side of the aisle is to introduce an amendment five minutes before a hearing and a markup. This is serious. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is the mind behind the Green New Deal, a widely controversial and infamous proposal to address the issue of climate change. From the 14-page proposal to Congress, notably AOC wrote, it is the duty of the federal government to create a Green New Deal to achieve net zero greenhouse gas emissions through a fair and just transition for all communities and workers, to create millions of good high-wage jobs and ensure prosperity and economic security for all people of the United States, to invest in infrastructure and industry for the United States to sustainably meet the challenges of the 21st century, 
and to secure for all people of the United States for generations to come. The main ideas come from completely rehauling the government and private infrastructure. The plan aims for 100% switch to renewable energy for federal infrastructure, a national energy efficient grid, rebuild and upgrade all buildings to become energy efficient, eliminate carbon emissions, and major investment in capturing and eliminating greenhouse gases. The main criticism from the Republicans and conservatives is that the Green New Deal wants to change too much and that it is communist. They want to take your pickup truck. They want to rebuild your home. They want to take away your hamburgers. <laughs> Trump tweeted, I think it is very important for Democrats to press forward with their Green New Deal. It would be great for the so-called carbon footprint to permanently eliminate all planes, cars, cows, oil, gas, and the military, even if no other country would do the same. Brilliant being sarcastic as to how crazy the idea seems from his view. While there are major criticisms referring to the Green New Deal, there is one thing that is certain. We need to do something in the next 10 years or else the world will be too permanently damaged for future generations to enjoy. Welcome to this week's WJG TV Sports News. The soccer team are currently 2-4. and four. Many players feel that they need to improve their offensive play so they can win more games and achieve a more successful season. Um, this season's pretty, pretty challenging. We got the results we wanted, but it's, we can make it better for sure. Um, we have a solid defense. Um, our midfield is really good. We move the ball around really well, which is something that plays in our advantage. Uh, I'd probably say our offense, like just not finishing in front of the goal and not getting those chances we really need. Our team goal is probably just keep winning, um, try to make playoffs if we can, and just play better. I'd say it's been a weird season this year, but we're still pushing forward and we're hoping for the best coming. Strong parts of the team are probably like the bond we have now, because like many things have happened, but we stayed strong with the teammates that we got left on the team. The weak parts, well, there isn't really any weak part on the team. It's just been the events that have, have occurred within the team, but we still managed to push forward. Well, the team goal is just like the work, get out, and get past like these few couple of games and win next week and like secure a spot in the playoffs. The next boys home game is tomorrow at 7.30 against Buford, but please come out early and support the Ladies Jags at 5.30. The track team most recently participated in the Lock Johnson meet here at Cedar Shoals. Many runners were able to place in first and get even closer to the state level. Uh, track season's been going good. We've been working hard. It's been a pretty good season. I um, feel like we're well, coming up a long way as a team. Uh, this season, I have not ran them with, so like, I did been supporting my team and practicing every day, trying to get uh, healthy. Giving me tips, you know, like showing me how to do things that I never did before. I may not have ever did something before and somebody might help me, you know. To burn down my time in the 100 meter dash. Uh, my, one of my goals is to get healthy and to slow down, uh, lower down my time to PR and win state. To make it to state. Get a medal, basically. Team goals are to get more points as a team, you know, help each other out and get through the season, you know. About putting in the work that we need to. Um, we're working hard in practice, competing against each other. Our team goals are to win regions and to make, uh, make all relay teams go to state. The track team's next meet will be this Saturday at Marietta High School. Make sure to come out and support your fellow students. That's it for this week's WJG TV Sports News. There are 37 days left in the 2K18, 2K19 school year, and there are many fun events planned for this month of school. Here are some important dates. Senior Breakfast and Senior Decision Day will be April 23rd. 
The senior picnic will be April 26th. The senior Six Flats trip will be May 3rd from 8 p.m. to 3 a.m. The graduation practice will be May 16th from 2 to 4 p.m. And graduation will be May 18th at 6 p.m. Wow! <laughs> also, the last day to pay $70 for prom dues is Friday, March 29th. The price goes up to $80 on April 1st. The deadline to pay prom dues is Friday, April 5th. Dues can be paid to Ms. Harvey in room C209 before school, after school, and during 7th period. Make sure to keep up with those important dates, seniors. Also, keep in mind that Dream Fest is coming up on March 30th, 2019 at Canopy Studios starting from 5 p.m. and ending at 9 p.m. This is a free annual event held by U League members, many of whom are Cedar Show students and alumni. This festival also works to raise awareness among its attendees. Catherine Wayne spoke to two Cedar U League members to see what's available at the program. There's free food, free shows, um, speakers come around to spread U League's mission, which is um, help students reach higher education, especially um, undocumented students or students that are related to immigrant families, etc. We meet up like on Thursdays before U League starts from five to six, so like an hour about and um, there people just gather around start giving ideas. ULEAD is a nonprofit so all the funds that go um, that get raised that day they're gonna go to the scholarship directly. We just wanted people to donate art in order for money for ULEAD's mission. Overall it's a super fun night of events, music, arts, shows and uh, um, uh, you can go support by buying merchandise or art that other students have donated as well. So it's like a great way to get to know your community. Make sure and come out and support you lead this upcoming Saturday. Again, my name is Jocelyn Clark. And I'm Maya Jordan. And, and this, this has been WJAG TV with your weekly school news.